The Mitchell model is absolutely fundamental to my training uh, less developed world conditions in the Ponsetti method. This is a particularly uh, superb model to demonstrate the Ponsetti technique, an articulated skeletal model of a foot in uh, equine varus position. And it demonstrates on it the, the, where the thumb should go, the hand holds and, the, and where your thumb should not go. And it's a perfect thing for demonstrating how to do the Ponsetti manipulation. But beyond this, the Mitchell models also give us the rubber legs, which are more of the appropriate scale for a child's foot. And once again, this enables me to show clinicians around the world how to do the manipulation on a foot of the appropriate size. Also, we can then cast these, these feet, so they can practice casting without having actually to do it on the, on the child itself. And then from there, once they've established their skills, then move on to actually treating uh, clinical cases. When we started training people in Africa, especially um, orthopedic technologists, who maybe didn't have the extensive background we do in pathophysiology, but were very tactile, hands-on people, very good craftsmen, and knew how to use plaster of Paris. It was the elasticized foot model that changed their, to see how the bones worked, then they knew why they had to do what they did. It, it, it took no convincing of them that the technique was appropriate. Right. Once we had the elastic model, and then also the rubberized models to do some practice sessions on before we went down to the clinic and worked on real babies. So for me, it, it's really the elastic, the training models that have been revolutionary. I carry them around in my bags now all over the world when I go training, uh, and has been a huge help. We systematically set about training 100 people in the club wow. method, and for that, um, we use the, the, the clubfoot models and I have to say those clubfoot models were just brilliant. You get your hands on them and you, you instantly know what's going on inside the clubfoot. And the people who we trained really responded well to those models. The, 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 way that, the beauty of those models is that yes, you can just see how the bones move. You can see exactly where to put your fingers. Well, from my, from my visits here to Iowa, uh, I saw the models being used in the courses here. And then when I started uh, organizing courses in Baltimore for the people on the East Coast, I, I went to John Mitchell and said, can I buy the models? And he was very kind to supply them to us. And we you know, purchased a bunch and, and we started using them in our courses. And I, when I travel overseas, I take some of the models with me so I can teach the doctors uh, locally how to do it. The models are great. They're, uh, I mean, without that, you just can't teach it. I mean, mm -hmm. it'd be one thing if you had, you know, 50 kids in uh, a clinic and you could do it on live babies, but that's not really practical in the United States. So having the models is really a great, great teaching tool.